Senator Steve West of Millersburg this week introduced SB 337, adding 10 more conditions to what would qualify someone for a medical marijuana card in Kentucky. Under the existing law, six conditions qualified for a medical marijuana card, including epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, chronic nausea or vomiting, cancer, severe or chronic pain, and PTSD. West says the bill is what the Bashir administration is asking for and would add 10 more medical conditions, including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's glaucoma, arthritis, and several others. Meanwhile, the House Health Committee Thursday passed HB 829, introduced by Republican Jason Nemes of Louisville. It has several provisions, but the biggest ones include allowing private religious schools and perhaps some public schools to refuse to give medical cannabis to minors, even if their parents got them a card and it's needed. So if their policy is that they don't want to allow it, they can do that. If they do allow it, who's going to administer the medication? Is it going to be a nurse? Is it going to be someone else on staff? Is it going to be a parent? Representative Kim Moser of Taylor Mill chairs the House Health Committee. Are you in favor of that uh, that opt-out? It gives me a little bit of pause that it would uh, eliminate a child with a seizure, seizure disorder, for example, uh, who is stable on, on medication. The bill also requires a pharmacist to consult with anyone getting a medical cannabis card. Marijuana advocate Matthew Bratcher says his group is vehemently opposed to that provision. That's something we fought for years against from the beginning. We don't think there's any need for pharmacists to be involved in the process. Um, it's just another hurdle and, an, and another expense for patients. Now, those I spoke with also say that the state still may not make that January 1st deadline. The biggest hang-up is getting growers and cultivators up and running and licensed. Any cannabis products sold under the program would need to be grown in the Commonwealth because it's against federal law to transport it across state lines. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.